Hi. My initial thoughts of seeing the pop-up were, wow, it really popped up. So dope, like seeing something we've worked so hard on and like spent a lot of time and months, it coming to life and seeing the hundreds of people walking around in the shoes is just the coolest thing ever. I'm wearing the black Camdens. These are my favorite shoe. I wear them all the time. They're a little crusty dusty right now. I love them. They're really comfortable and that's what I look for in a shoe. I'm wearing the Icon shoes in white. I think it's really cool to see the shoes come to life. You see them 2D, you think you know exactly how it's going to feel when you're actually holding the shoe. It's such a different experience getting to try them on and to wear them and to make little tweaks here and there and then finally other people in them. Definitely my shoe collection has expanded immensely and I'm just so excited to one day just only wear Demilio footwear. I think the shoes feel best to represent my style would probably be the sneakers. I feel like I'm normally in a sneaker unless I have to be in something else. But I would say if I had to have a dressier shoe, I would probably pick this one. It caught my eye in a different way. And I don't know, but I've been really gravitating towards this one. Like normally I think I'm like platform. Somebody said it's just speaking to me. Footwear is something that's intimate to people. And I think it's important for consumers to touch and feel the product. With footwear, especially from a sizing standpoint, I mean, I know there's certain brands that some brands I'm a 12, some brands I'm an 11 and a half. And as long as the brand stays consistent, I can just go to a store and say, hey, I'll take those in 11 and a half. And I know that they're going to fit me. So I think it's important for people to be able to try them on. I want people to try on the shoes because it, it, it really just drives home the fact that the quality's there, you pick the right size, the fit is right. Yeah, I mean, the process I think was what we thought it would be. I, the fact that we have an amazing team of people that have done this before and other people that have not done it before but just get our brand went pretty smoothly. No, I think the, the biggest challenges that you face when you're doing a pop-up specifically is the space that you're restricted to. I mean, aside from, you know, those parameters, you know, keeping it in line with what our booth looks like, what our website looks like, you know, just having those same, you know, having it always be fluid. Cohesive, and yeah. Cohesive, consistent to our brand messaging. I mean, that that has been pretty plug and play, I feel like now. Everybody is pretty much on the same page and have that same vision. And this is a great way to start because this, the glass box, we are working with a, with a smaller canvas, but I think it's it's great. I see us having, over the next couple of years, having 10, 20, 30 stores around the country. I love the fact that I'm seeing people come into our store that might not even know who our family is or who Dixie and Charlie are and actually create something that people are stopping by and spending their harder money to buy Demilio footwear. My name is Caitlin Shaw. I am Director of Business Development. We are doing a pop-up for Demilio footwear because right now we are a D2C company only and it's really important for our consumers to feel and touch the product. We want them to understand the quality and how comfortable they are. So this is my first pop-up that I've done for any brand. Brand. So I've learned a lot along the way. I think for me, the hardest part is really thinking about how to showcase our shoes in such a small space. It's a very tiny glass box at the Grove. And we had to really think about the designs, every inch of the box, how to get people to come in and have space to try on our shoes. You have to think about staffing for all the hours where we're gonna house all the inventory and coming into this, looking at it as if we're gonna have no foot traffic, nobody knows about our brand. So you have to really come into it and plan your weekly programming of how to get foot traffic into the box. For me, I'm looking forward to hearing consumer feedback. I really am excited for people to finally see our products in person. And also I think gaining a new customer. If you're in town and you wanna come check out the glass box at the Grove across from Georgetown, Demilio Footwear will be there for the month of September. My name is Meg Kowalski and I am the Director of Sales for Demilio Footwear. The build out process for the Grove being a pop-up that was going to engage with consumers directly we wanted to create a space that both was a statement from a marketing standpoint and made a statement to other retailers around us, as well as really trying to connect and create a space and a venue for customers to really be able to interact, touch and feel the shoes, feel comfortable. This is our first 
brick and mortar retail experience. This is so important because this is tangible and we need to understand from the consumers, what are they really looking for? What do they love about our shoes? What are some things that we could evolve and build upon? Hi, I'm Lauren DiCicco. I'm the head designer for D'Amelio Footwear. I have not been a part of any other pop-ups before. I design mostly for retail. This experience, having started DTC and now seeing it in an actual store, pop-up store, is an exciting experience. It's really exciting to see everybody's reaction to the, everything that I designed. Just the cohesiveness of the actual shop and the inside, the colors and the idea behind the whole pop-up shop. My proudest moment would be just seeing people try on the footwear that I designed. The reaction of the customers come in when the girls are there and you know how excited they are for them and the actual footwear and when they give comments back about the footwear it just it feels really good so good wow this is literally our website come to life i'm not gonna get emotional yes i am opening up d'amelio footwear at the grove many projects that you work on as a family. We have the D'Amelio Show on Hulu. What is one behind the scenes moment that you think fans would find interesting or surprising from creating this collaboration together? I think the one thing we've, we've talked about is that this isn't just us slapping our name on someone else's brand. This is something we've, we, ha we have our own designers, we have our own development team. I've been in the apparel and fashion space my entire career. So this isn't something that's just an influencer family throwing their name on something. This is something that we really put our heart and soul in. My most proud moment since starting D'Amelio Footwear is seeing people walking around in our shoes. It's the coolest thing and I get super shy but I definitely insert myself into their life and be like, thank you so much for buying our shoes. So I wanted to bring my friends to the lunch and the pop-up just to just let them know how much they inspire me. I've only been in LA for a few years and to have met some of the most amazing women since I'm here means so much to me. And so to have them a part of this and the pop-up and D'Amelio footwear, say thank you and to bring them all into this world in the group. Yeah, I don't know what to do. It's the Go shop D'Amelio Footwear. Go shop D'Amelio Footwear. Go shop D'Amelio Footwear.